Prince Edward County's Festival Players Summer Season kicks off tomorrow. There will be theater, dance, comedy, and music. Joining us is the company's artistic director, Graham Abbey, and one of this year's headlining comedians, Elvira Kurt. Good morning to both of you. Morning. Morning. Oh, so much energy. I love it. Graham, we're going to start off with you. Festival Players 2022 Summer Season starts tomorrow. It runs until September 4th. What can we expect? Uh, we're thrilled. We have a really eclectic mix of theater, music, comedy this year. We're at the beautiful Eddie Hotel and Farm, so we kick off with our Haymaker Comedy Festival in a 200-year-old in a century barn, which is going to be beautiful. Uh, we have a modern dance festival called Flight, which is happening on the grounds throughout the farm, so there's dance happening on the pond, in the pavilion, in the barn. Uh, we've got a beautiful uh, launch of a, a new play that we've developed around Al Purdy's work, uh, which is a musical exploration of his work. That's going to happen in the barn again. And then we end with a couple plays in the pavilion. So it's, it's super exciting. People can come and be under the beautiful county sky or inside the barn and see amazing artists like Elvira. Colin Mockery is headlining one of our comedy nights. Uh, Gavin Crawford from CBC. So it's a really eclectic mix, but it's our biggest season ever, and we're very, very excited. Alvera, you are going to be part of the season coming up as well, starting with the Haymaker Comedy Festival. And like That's you right. mentioned, Graham, it's featuring some of Canada's top stand-up comics. How are you feeling, Alvera, about going back to Prince Edward County? Oh, my gosh. Well, just seeing those photos, that outdoor stage was all there was last year. There wasn't an option. I don't know which lockdown we were in. Which of the many <laughs> waves we were surfing at that time. But... Um, you know, just to be outdoors, just to have a live audience, even if it was, you know, under the sky. And then, you know, the treat of it actually being open air. And, uh, you know, I would have I would have come any under any of the conditions. Look at that. Look at all the trauma that you can see on my head there. I am supporting every single wave of the coronavirus in my look at look at the back there. Can you see that? Can you see that? I can little, see it. That I can see girl? it. That's the uh, Delta variant. Right I love there it. In my hair. I mean, it looks good. <laughs> Elvira, people are just itching for a chance to laugh right now. You are giving them that gift. That must mean so much as a comedian. Oh my, well, you know, I can speak, I can easily, normally I just speak for myself, but I'm, I guarantee I'm speaking for every single uh, comedian out there. What a thrill to be able to pivot, using the word everyone hates, uh, back to our, uh, our natural resting state, which is indoors, poor ventilation, in a basement. Do you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> Can't any I opportunity to per perform comedy in front of a live audience. But in this case, uh, to get the invite from Graham to come back to Prince Edward County and, yes, the barn. Yeah, that barn is gorgeous. So it's going to be an amazing <laughs> show. And just the setting makes all the difference. Absolutely. So it's go it's going to be a thrill. I will, uh, I would be, um, you know what, they're going to have a I open, I kick things off on the first night. Good luck getting rid of me, is all I have to say. <laughs> Fair warning to the rest of the lineup because oh I just make, make an appearance every single night. You're oh, I'm so not on again today? There. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> well, do you mind if I'm here? Do you mind if I just do 10 or an hour? Oh my gosh. Well, I know people will be looking forward to it. Graham, how do you keep the festival going year after year and building that reputation? Well, it's been amazing. You know, we, we all artists have had, well, the, my, the whole world has had a couple tough years, but we've been really out of work in terms of live performance. So we've endured. We have amazing support out here in the county. We have a, a wonderful audience that comes back every year who are local. And then we have a, a beautiful, you know, vein of, of tourists that come each year and visit the county. So it's thrilling. We hope to get bigger and better every year. And, and really, I just lean on my friends like, like Elvira and Colin. I, uh, <laughs> I phone them up and say, would you come and do this for way less than you ever get paid and, and a smaller room than you ever play. So I, I'm really blessed with, with great friends in the industry who, who jump in and help. And Elvira last year, I must say, because we were trying to climb out of a pandemic and put something on and uh, I phoned her and, and she just jumped at the chance. I don't even think I finished typing the email before she was uh, <laughs> on her way to the county. So I'm, I'm really blessed with, with these artists who lean in and help us and hopefully it's bigger and better every year. Well, we're looking forward to it. Graham, Elvira, great to talk to you both. Thanks for coming on the show. Anytime. Thank you. See you, out there. See you in the county. See you. Yes, festivalplayers.ca. <laughs> for more information, Graham. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.